Welcome Hi. back to Cheers. I hope you had a few good weeks. As you can see, this is not Chanel. This is my sister Sarah, and she's actually been on our channel before when I did the black pink inspired makeup look on her. Mm -hmm. And if you want to see that, then we'll just put a little box link, link below. there. Mm -hmm. So today we're just going to be doing a few um, lip reviews for you, in... as well as a wear test yes. with, with wine. Me. So going back to the roots of yes. Cheers. So we're doing a review of three different drugstore brands for you. One is Physician's Formula, then Milani, NYX, and Ulta. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you want to see our thoughts as well as how the color wears on us, then just keep watching. <laughs> so before Sarah and I went in with any of these colors that we'll be reviewing, I just wanted to point out the Ulta Beauty one that Sarah just mentioned. It's not really a lip um, liquid lipstick, but it's actually a juice infused lip oil that I just got for my birthday month at Ulta, <laughs> so it's free. It usually retails for $9. like $9 there, and I personally got the cranberry and pomegranate one. I love this. It's my first time wearing it today, but I've been having it on since like, I don't know, like five hours ago just to prep my lips for this video. So this one we have on, and I love it because as you can see, it kind of gives us like a bit of a pinky sheer shine. And it has, I'm not a huge fan of the smell or the taste of it. I don't it. like the smell. It, it just smells kind of like cheap fruits. Yeah, kind of. But anyway, so if you do want a lip product that you're looking for in terms of hydrating to prepare yourself for, you know, liquid lip lipsticks, which tend to be matte or drying, then this is definitely a highly recommended choice for me. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> moving on to the actual <laughs> liquid lipsticks. So I am trying on um, the color Bear With Me. It's like a nudie pinkish color. It's really, really pretty, I think. Okay, let's try. And I'm going to be trying the color Noirishing no Plum. <laughs> um, it's just this color here. And Ooh. actually, I'm going to grab a napkin. So this formula is super pigmented, which I love. So I don't have to, just like one swipe would be enough. And it's actually really lightweight. It smells really good. Mmm. It's, it's like, like a vanilla. Vanilla. It reminds me of MAC. This is my first time trying on a dark lip. I mean, it's a lot more pinky than I than I thought it would be. I love how it feels though. Um, what I'm seeing with this one though is that because it's a dark color, every time I take a stroke here, you can see the sheerness it's so of it. Patchy yeah, as well. it just doesn't have a good, clean, even coverage. And this one, I'm probably gonna have to go in for a second layer. And that scares me because they it's get crusty, so crusty. It builds up when it dries, right? Mm -hmm. And this is quite quick to dry, but it's not that quick on me. Maybe because of the oil that we just put on, had on, or maybe because I do have like dry drier lips. lips or something. But um, it still feels like quite velvety and kind of creamy. This is not very easy to apply as well because it's such a, like if you use this color, you're definitely gonna li need a lip liner. This is so difficult, even with the trick I use. So my trick, just to let you know, is that if you put it directly on your lip, like where your lip line is or where you want your lip line to be, then you're committing to that line. But what I do is I start from the inner part and then move it upward a little bit and work my way out to create that line so that way I can just kind of build up to it rather than committing. Yeah. But I also really don't like how it has such a, leaves such a stark contrast between like the inner and outer because it dries. Yeah, that's like the crusty dry up. Yeah, I'm so scared for the inner parts of my mouth actually. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. It has like a really creaminess to it though. So it's I appreciate a, that. Yeah, and I but think it's it a difficult color to control because like you're getting that on the outer Yeah, and part. then it'll like because it feather is, out. Yeah. It'll feather out. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I do have to say though, it looks a lot darker on camera than it does in real life. It looks much more plummy or mauve in person. But I think like on camera, this one is pretty, I don't know, it's pretty accurate, right? Yeah, it's pretty accurate for that one. Um, yeah. I'm just not- It does, so it says bear with me, but it's a lot pinkier than I would expect like oh, a nude color to be. That is so gross. Yeah, it's not, I don't want to kiss that. <laughs> I'm not thirsty for those lips. <laughs> no. So, I'm, okay, this is gonna be kind of embarrassing, but I'll show you guys anyways. Whenever I smack my lips together, you can see like the crust build up on the inner corners of my mouth and it makes it look super buttholey. Like, poop chunks or something. Ew. <laughs> so watch. Do you see that? 
Do you see those little crusty parts there? That's so gross. <laughs> yeah, as much as I love Physician's Formula, especially the butter bronzer, this color is just not a go for me. Though, but I would say this line in general yeah. is not bad. And we do have an extra color in this that we, we're we not testing today. Yeah. But it's like a, um, the kind of like, a yeah, the color. Red, bricky color. Yeah, the other one that I have is called um, Nutritious. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's just slightly, like maybe about two shades darker than the one that Sarah had on. Mm -hmm. But. Um, in terms of your bang for your buck in regards to the other liquid lip liners or liquid lipsticks that we're trying yeah. out, it has the biggest bang for your buck. I think so because it includes, so avocado oil, it, it includes hyaluronic acid and vitamins A and E and mm -hmm. also some anti-aging mm -hmm. um, anti-aging peptides. This is so... It's so sticky, right? It's so sticky. I, I really don't like this. You could see the crusts come off on there. Can you see it? <laughs> yeah. So obviously in terms of a wear test, it, it, I don't think it would last that long. I do think though that this would tint your lips really nicely. So I'm gonna try it. Like for instance, I'll just, I'll take the stuff off right now. Yeah, it's oh. like coming off in chunks more so than just a- You see that? Now that looks like something that just came out of a dirty butthole. Ew, <laughs> sick. In regards to like how it leaves a nice, does it? I don't know. Yeah, it kind of leaves a color behind, like a tint. So maybe if I really wanted to use this because I bought it, <laughs> um, I would just put this on while I put my makeup on and then just take it off to give, give me a tint later. Yeah. And for the next stuff, so in between each take, Sarah and I will just be putting foundation over our lips just to give you a more accurate view of what the color looks like. Because so, our lips are pretty pigmented, especially after the... Yeah, especially after putting on the lip sticks themselves. Ugh, it feels so dry already. Next one we're going to be trying is the Milani line. Right, and I'm going to do the Amore Matte line in the color Love, number 12. And I'm going to be doing the Amore Shine line in the color Temptation. Right off the bat, you can already tell though that this is different just because Sarah's is more oh, square. This smells so good. Sick. Smell it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it does smell good. <laughs> I just don't want you to get it on me. Um, and mine is more round or tubular. Tubular. Totally tubular. Wasn't that a phrase like way back when? Oh in my high god, school? this is super lightweight. Ah. And super pigmented. I love it. Color payoff is good on here. Yeah. Yes. Mm, it's so I, velvety. I really love this one. I love the smell on this one. Hers was like vanilla-y, but vanilla mine is yeah. vanilla minty. Oh, and it has that like tingling sensation as well, right? No. No? <laughs> no, not for me. Oh. I don't feel a tingle. And I love the fact that because this is the shine line or whatever, it doesn't have a drying effect for your lips. So it's so, not matte, obviously. This one is totally non-stick, it's quick to dry, and it's super easy to control. Cause you know how you have some liquid matte lipsticks that are really, that kind of just like bleed out? Yeah. This one doesn't. I love this color. This is like such a good going out This is like color. what you wanted this to be basically. No, cause I wanted the plum. Oh, I think I'm gonna get this. Oh wow. And I, it's, it leaves your lips. Now I feel the tingle, the mint aspect is yeah. coming in. And this the would, the thing I don't like about matte lipsticks is that it does get really drying, right? But this one, it has a hydrating aspect yeah. to it because it's a shine. So you won't get the matte look, but I mean, shoot, I ain't mad at it. But I really love this matte um, liquid lipstick too because it is quick to dry, but it, it leaves like a really nice velvety feeling. Mm -hmm. And it has, um, a good, not only a good color payoff, like I was mentioning earlier, yeah. but it has a very even application I found. It was really easy to go towards the uh, outer lip line, you know, Same and just, one, yeah, and just um, do that without a lip liner. This is good. I'm, I'm gonna get this. Yeah. And wear test. Mm. Good. It doesn't leave anything on the glass. Mine really does perfect. because it doesn't have because the drying like aspect. Sticky. So. This one came off more than the physician's formula, but because this is actually not matte where it doesn't dry on your lips, you would expect that. Yeah. 
But although this is really quick to dry and um, it's, I like it because it doesn't have any of that crusty kind of feeling. What do you think? For this one? Yeah, the matte. Oh yeah, I tried this one out too. I, I love this color, especially for the spring, summertime. It's a great lip color, a great like natural color where- And it's just super easy to put on. Yeah. Like, to the point that I also don't feel like I need to use a lip liner for this one. Yeah. You just need to do like one swipe and then just like kind of fine out the edges a little bit. A little bit with it. that technique that I was mentioning earlier. Just start inner yeah. and then move up. And they do claim that you can wear this for up to 16 hours, which is really great, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, that's Dang. the claim. And I think it's true because when I did drink out of my wine glass, it didn't uh -huh. leave any marks or anything. Uh-huh. So, you should do like a kiss test. So yeah, no, not with you. <laughs> so I basically use this um, cleansing towel to remove the color on, the, on my lips of the Milani Amori Matte. And you can see that it's still pretty pigmented. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. She's struggling getting this off right now. Well, I just had to wipe a bit harder, but I mean, so if you want something that does like... I believe the 16 hour thing. <laughs> Yeah, the 16 hour claim. Minto. Thank you. So the next one, we're gonna be reviewing NYX Lingerie, which is a really popular soft matte lip cream. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be doing um, the color Seduction, Seduction number 17. And I'm gonna be going in the color Ruffle Trim. I love this color. I just purchased one. Sarah had this before and then I copied her because I loved this color so much. And this is like the the most budget one, I think, right? At $6.99, retails for $6.99. Oh, does it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Ooh, I like it. It goes on a bit I'm not more the sheer. Fan it's more liquidy. Of the smell, unlike the previous two. Yeah, the smell is actually I, I hate it. I hate the smell, but I but like what it over does. It. I like how it goes on. It's super creamy. It's it doesn't dry as fast. It's not as drying as the other two, but because of that, I feel like it's almost easier to put on. Mm -hmm. Super lightweight, really and then, good pigment. And the tip of the applicator is actually quite thin. Yeah, and so it makes it really perfect for this. Yeah, to work it to the outer lip or that lip line, super easy. I think it's easier yeah. than the Milani. So good. So yeah, this one is a lot, it's it's a bit more bricky and kind of like a reddish tint to it, which I really like. Hers is a bit more nude with like a pinky tone. Mm -hmm. So I'm not a huge fan of nude lips, but out of all the nudes that I have seen on myself, this has been by far my favorite which is why I got it. And yeah. even when I tried out like the Tarte ones or the other like Which higher I, end stuff, yeah. I thought this one particularly for me just looked the best on my skin. I mean, oh. it is a bit sticky, but I don't mind it. Yeah, it is. But then I noticed that that stickiness does go away in a bit. I don't mind it. If you're not a fan of sticky, maybe not the best option for you. I don't know. I'm a big fan of this color seduction. I think it's really great for um, all seasons, actually, but especially mm -hmm. during like fall and winter time. Mm -hmm. Just during the summertime, I would do this for like a night out look yeah. for Sarah's. Mine, I feel like it's it's so easy for day to because night. Because of all that seasons. pinky undertone. Yeah, I think it, exactly. It really works really well. It's a really good nude. I really like yours too. Actually, this one, yeah. the red, yeah. Uh -huh. So, just to summarize, I'd say my favorite out of all the lips is actually going to be the NYX. I mean, originally, I really thought I was going to say NYX. You're going towards but Milani. I am. Actually, I like all of them. Wow, okay. So, another thing that's funny is that when I asked Sarah what her favorite was out of the liquid lipsticks that we got before, she actually said NYX too. Right. I just think it was just that type of day, but because they all come so close for me. Yeah, so I think it was just a Milani kind of day today. Maybe you were feeling the Milani. I just love the smell of it. I just forgot how nice it smelled, I think. Yeah, but I have to say, like, the stickiness is gone now. So it does take, like, I don't know, minutes. five minutes. For the price, which is all $9 and under, I think these brands are really good for That's so true. Lipstick. I mean, it's like all of them are pretty much half the price of Tarte. So, bang for your buck. Definitely. Anyways, this comes to a close for our video this week. And if you liked it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you really liked it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And as always, cheers to a good week. Cheers. Bye. I'm ready for you. Yes. Uh -uh. Yeah. <laughs>